Hi and welcome back to my channel, my name is Nancy and um, thank you for coming back to my channel and you guys probably have seen my last video, if you haven't, it is this one right here, the light stick unboxing, finally. Um, I apologize in advance because right now my voice is crap, um, I'm still recovering from a cold so hope you guys don't mind if I take lots of pauses or if I sneeze or cough or sniffle or whatever, I apologize. <laughs> Anyways, I do want to make a quick little video of my O2U to you Ita bag. Um, first, I'm going to show it to you real quick. Um, this is my Ita bag that I brought with me to O2U to you and I brought it to three staffs. So I went to New Jersey, um, which is in Newark, LA, and I went to Seattle as well. And this is the bag I was carrying. An Ita bag, if you guys don't know, before I get into it, an Ita bag is... In Japanese, when something hard, they say ita, <laughs> or at least that's what I think. A ita bag literally means a bag that hurts because ita bags usually show a clear front um, to display all your merchandise or goodies. Um, so it hurts your wallet. So it really hurts. So ita. Um, so this is what I have here. It's not much, but I do want to show it to you guys. I can't speak. It's been a long time since I filmed a lot of videos. Um, so I also want to put this in as well today because I just got this not too long ago. So I do want to put this in as well. So I want to explain where I got this one first. So this one is from China. I got it on eBay. The exact seller that sold this to me is not selling it right now, but I will link a very similar one or a similar company or similar brand or like whatever manufacturer who's making this exact bag as well and it comes in many different colors i believe it comes in cream black green yellow red i believe um anyways i got it in baby pink because baby pink is my favorite color and also it's very resonant of um the uh, rose quartz and serenity theme that 17 has so i picked this one i love this bag actually because you can actually take these straps off and convert it into a backpack so it has little hooks right here which you can cover into a backpack it has a zipper at the back so you can put your wallet and stuff you want to keep close to your body as a main compartment i'm going to show you guys main compartment um it has a pocket here it's pretty deep fits quite a bit and it has a zipper pocket for anything extra that you want to put in the back and also i forgot to mention it does have a i'm not paid to say this by the way <laughs> or anything i bought it with my own money it cost me like 80 bucks canadian or something so um so it does come with hooks here and it comes with a long strap so you can actually wear it as like a actually like a longer side bag or like a messenger bag it's pretty big though um this one was advertised to be like a Lolita bag. If you guys don't know the Lolita style and from Japan, they like to carry these big heart bags as well. Um, but this is totally my aesthetic and my style. So that's why I bought it. Enough rambling. I just want to show you guys what is in my Ita bag. So um, I'm going to start off with what's on the side of the Ita bag. Um, it has this guy right here um you guys have seen these probably all from my merches and everything or my merch hauls this is from the ideal cut concert um this one is a coin purse i brought this with me to korea before um oh actually i want to put a disclaimer on my videos now because some people might think that i'm bragging or like doing whatever but i honestly like to share with you guys my experiences and all these stuff so if you guys really are offended watching my videos then please click off <laughs> and I'd rather you spend your energy on something you like rather than watching something that repulses you and if um, merch and stuff repulses you or me talking about it repulses you then please stop watching my videos I guess anyway so that one's that in the main compartment right here um, I have a few things so this right here is from Carrot Land, and this one I got myself I'm gonna open it so you guys have a better look actually at all the stuff so right here um, this one right here is a honey pin, which is from their Hana fan meet, and I believe Hana fan meet, I believe. This one right here is the little light stick keychain from a while back. I can't remember exactly where. This one is the um, key ring set, I believe, and I put the blue diamond on there. This one right here, I believe is, an, is also from the fan meet as well. I honestly can't remember which one's which. I believe this is from the Japanese fan meet as well. And this one is Tangan. And this little pin right here is actually from a group order. Um, it came with this pin or these straps actually. So 
next i'll show you these ones are fan made so i got this one in um kcon la this one says hit sound um so that was last year in 2019 hit sound and this lovely i can't remember which account made this but um heidi bought this for me while at kcon and it's the pavo latte so it's super cute i want i hope you guys can see that i feel like i'm a terrible youtuber because i can't focus on everything um but anyways this one right here super cute it was handmade um if someone could find their twitter for me that'll be super super nice um let me see what else so yeah this one is fan made as well and this one came with this strap I remember getting this back in 2017 so this one has lots of good memories for me this one right here um, didn't come with this milk thing but basically it came with this little light stick and it says cut out and it has a little tongue on sleep thing so cute and the strap also says tonsa right here and it says tongue on um but yeah this one milk right here this milk carton i added on into here as well and this one was from that cafe merch hall whatever um so there isn't much on here other than that actually so it's just a few things but it's really cute to display everything like this because um for once um it's not just sitting on my shelf and being not used so this is gonna be the bag i bring with me to any future concerts and stuff like that and it'll be nice if I ever go to anymore, I don't know if I will, but um, to pin like stuff here and just like, sh it's not like to show off, but it's to like show how proud you are of your little collection. Um, a lot of people do this in Japan, especially with their anime pins and stuff like that. I remember going to the Seattle concert and I saw this one girl, she had a slimmer bag to this and um, her whole bag was filled with Joshua pins. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> It looks so good. So anyways, I'm gonna add this little one as well. As you guys saw my previous video, I got this from Sarah as well. She got this at the O2U Japan. Can you focus, please? Yeah, so she got this from the O2U Japan concert. And this is a little bonbon in the bunny costume holding a little carrot. So I'm gonna add this on here. I don't know how or where I'm gonna put this actually. Mm. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna just hook it on right here. So I think I decided I'm just gonna hang little bong bong right there as well. Um, super cute. I think um, in the future I'll show you guys an updated because I did get a quite a few like handmade or fan made stuff too from all the concerts and I want to add them there. So I will do that in the future. Maybe I'll do an updated itabe kind of showing thing i don't know anyways how to describe it so let's close this back up and it's super cute honestly like everyone kept asking me about it and i feel very like happy sharing my like um merch or like sharing my experiences or where i got stuff because honestly um that's one of the joys of going to like concerts and stuff like that it's just fangirling and seeing how cute everything is and yeah enjoying cute things is one of the um happiness things of my life like i really do enjoy it um looking at things that are kawaii akire whatever it's like honestly so like healing i think i don't know everyone has their own kind of healing thing for them and for me it is looking at cute stuff like this so anyways i hope you guys enjoyed my nails right now are super super long i have to go to work um not today but tomorrow so i have to like trim my nails actually hopefully i feel a little bit better anyways i am feeling much better from my cold and i don't feel as run down as from before anyways i hope this was a quick video and i hope you guys enjoyed it um if you guys have any questions or comments please leave them down in my comment section down below and if you like this video then i guess you can leave a thumbs up if you want and anyways i hope you guys have a good day and i will see you guys in my next video bye